everything seemed to be going so well, with a lavish opening set in Mexico during Day of the Dead, even if it's a little bit too reminiscent of Live and Let Die, an extensive action sequence with a helicopter that would cost the amount of any other action movie that isn't James Bond. Then the opening credits happened, which seemed to just dampen my whole mood on the film. Sam Smith's writing on the wall is just plain awful and painful to the ears. Furthermore, it doesn't sound anything like a James Bond song. The image and sounds of Smith almost singing Michael Jackson's Earth song whilst an octopus is caressing Daniel Craig's nipples will haunt me forever. Spends too much time digging up on James Bond's past, a slight retread on Skyfall, and has no other purpose than to introduce Christoph Waltz's character. It was nice to see Waltz play a role rather understated and not go into full pantomime act, but the whole setup and play of his role just felt rather underwhelming. That goes for our supporting characters too. Q, Moneypenny, M, and whatever character Rory Kinnear is have little purpose other than to chase Bond around like puppies. It constantly feels like they are the toys that a child is playing with that just moves them from set to set. Whilst Andrew Scott's character pops in and out of scenes, you are on high alert waiting for him to go full on Moriarty. Its downfall is the script, spending no time on characters or decent dialogue, especially between Bond and villain. What you are watching is the complete opposite of tension. Dave Batista is the new henchman villain called Mr. Hinks, who manages to be the best part of Spectre as the big silent thug. That's not to say he was still incredibly underused and wasted, but it was fun to watch him and James Bond battle it out on a train, even if we have seen it before. It was great to see Bond struggle up against an opponent and be flung around like a rag doll, even if he comes out with no scratches and no bruises. I could have happily watched this for two and a half hours instead of what I was subjected to. They say your favourite Bond will always be the one you grew up with, so sorry, I'm not a fan of Daniel Craig and I'm pretty sure I never will be. He may not be the best Bond, but he certainly is the most fashionable. What became a highlight of the film was his designer skinny suit, and you know you're in trouble if the best part of your film is suits. There was just too much Thomas Newman and not enough Bond theme. The film has one moment where it blasts out, da 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 da! Just one! One! I love it when James Bond triumphs and his theme cries out, da 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 da! It feels very much like a in your face moment, but it happened once. Product placement has always been a major part of a James Bond film. How else are they going to get a budget of 300 million? But in this, product placement threw up all over the place. I felt like I was watching a two and a half hour advert. Which reminds me, the length of the film was just wickedly unnecessary. Originality has gone out of the window and you find yourself reminded of other movies like Bourne and even the likes of Star Trek and Terminator. It is clear that they had a checklist of all their favourite Bond moments that they wanted in this film, with the story the size of a peanut and characters that have no purpose. All Spectre really is, is a few flashy action sequences designed to make a lot of money. Thanks for watching, please like the video and share with your friends. Be sure to leave a comment in the box below, what is your favourite James Bond movie? And subscribe so you don't miss a video. Here are some other 2015 movie reviews for you to watch. Da -da -da -da!